Polls closed three days ago, yet we are still waiting results in a number of races, including the races in Arizona. Kelly O'Grady, she's there. All right, Carrie Lake is behind right now, but she's confident she'll win. Why? She is. You know, I spoke with her team and they're really banking on the votes that people dropped off on Election Day. And so, you know, I saw it on the ground. Carrie Lake really encouraged her base to either vote in person or drop off those ballots day of. An unprecedented 290,000 votes came in that way in Maricopa County right here. Here's Lake's explanation why. People are so distrustful of our elections that they wanted to hand deliver their mail-in ballot. And when they did that, we overwhelmed the system and they don't have enough people to count them. And this is why we need to reform our election laws. Now, the governor's race is really tight, 27,000 votes separating the two. So these incoming day of early votes could be very impactful if they break for the GOP. Like we've been seeing rural counties split 70% plus for Lake in some cases. On the Senate side, the margins wider. It increased when Maricopa County released a big batch last night of 78,000 votes that broke for the Dems. But those ballots were dropped off Friday through Monday, not on Election Day. Still, Masters would need to win all of the outstanding votes in Arizona by an overwhelming margin. There's roughly 520,000 right now, and we still expect some areas that are blue, like Tucson, to report in. So counting of those day of votes begins today, Stuart, um, but we're not expecting the full results to come in until next week now. Back Got to you. Got it. Thanks very much, Kelly. See you later.